Welcome and thank you for attending uh, today's uh, Top Glove uh, Leadership uh, Talk. We are here to learn from them. Talking about the culture of innovation within Amazon. We know that innovation is hard, but we are always stubborn on the big vision, but flexible on the details itself. Of course, when you say bias for action, what decision? Do we make decisions quickly? What do you mean by bias for action? What it means here is that a lot of organizations don't make decisions until they have close to 100% of all the data because they are scared of making decisions. How can you move forward fast and have the speed and agility within your organization? The working backwards process is not designed to be easy. It's designed to save huge amounts of work on the back end and to make sure that we're actually building the right thing. What so many companies do is they write the software, that's a lot of work, they get it all working, and then they throw it over the wall of the marketing department and say, okay, here's what we built, write the press release for it. That process is the one that's actually backwards. Before you actually issue a product, you need to envisage how successful that product is going to be. Then work from there backwards towards building that product. You have to answer all your queries and all your questions first internally and be satisfied. You know, some of our products actually we spend close to a year right, just writing the press release and really answering all the questions in the FAQ and visualizing what is the real customer experience behind it. There are millions and thousands of ideas every day that everybody come out with. But as people say, ideas are cheap. How do you make sure that those ideas are really, really able to be executed? talk about failures, many organizations fear failure. But in our organization, we encourage some of those failures because that develop the team or the individual to have the experience. Always experiment, experiment early and frequently. Validate some of the assumptions, like use some of the mechanisms that we have put across, the working backwards in terms of the press release that we have just talked about, the FAQ, as well as some of the visuals. So, in today's world, there are options to actually lower the cost of failure. And one sentence said by Jack, sounds very familiar. Customer is always beautiful, wonderful, and dissatisfied. You know sound like who? Wife. Your wife always <laughs> Not happy. Give everything also not happy. Is it sound, sound alike? Huh? Not only wife, your husband also same. Huh? Your husband also same. Always not satisfied. Give a lot of things, still not satisfied. And who else other than husband, wife, your boss? Work so much, I'm all not happy. You must be thankful you have all of them. If you don't have them, you're in trouble. You have no customer, you have no business. Huh? Your wife, your husband, your bosses or your superior. The bottom line is, you must continue to learn, improve, learn from successful people, 